Schere. <lacht> Ich Tag Polish to you. <laughs> hey Mick, say something that a uh, terrorist would say in Polish. I never heard of a Polish terrorist thing. Oh, they're out there. The damage is when Jimmy Bavich is water. When the pan on the planter lies, and when Jimmy will cap a little bit of water. Love it. Since we're all not made out of T T1000 material, we probably we might skirt it. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Like something to fall into or explore? Got it, guys. The old, uh, the old trail's right over here. Okay. Pulling your spidey moves today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we all have to be spider <laughs> Sam was. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. He took it to a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, crotch rock was uh, special just for us there. Yeah. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shot placement. Mick. we go. Hey guys, Patriot here with you today. We're on a, another New Year hike. We've got AK Mick here again today. We've got uh, shot placement. You might know him as a special purpose too. He was in the uh, Mag 560 video. And uh, we're actually hiking up to Tom's Thumb, which is right up here. And uh, it's about a mile and a half, but we took a little side trip unintentionally. But uh, we're just pressing along. You can see the group up here in front of me, and uh, got a real nice turnout this year, so we're having a lot of fun. Thanks for tagging along. Yeah, that's, that makes really good. Would have been a good photo op to get the uh, cactus and <laughs> shot placement's leg there. <laughs> It's a haze out there. Yeah, we're breathing it. Yeah. We're above it a little. Right here are the saddle, and down there is Fountain Hills going down that way. We're gonna hook a right, go up here be behind this horn right here, and then on up to the thumb, which is right up there. About 15 years ago, my brother and I were up here, and uh, we're walking along, going this way. The trail goes th down this way. We look up to our left, up up to our left up here. I'm trying to find it with a camera, and right up here on these uh, rock faces, on the very tops of them, there was a uh, a bunch of mountain goats standing there staring at us. So uh, there's a lot of diverse wildlife out here: bobcats, mountain lions, a lot of cool critters out here. Back on the other side here is 
a town called Fountain Hills on the backside of the uh, McDowell Range. It's pretty hazy out there today. AK Mick, what do you think, dude? Compared to last year, how do you like the location? A little bit more scenic. Yeah, more scenic, huh? You got the uh, you got Thomas Thumb sitting on top of your head right now, bro. You want the right one, right? <laughs> That's it. Okay, good. That's the look I call that the horn right here. And right here's the saddle. Real easy uh, trail at this point. Very defined. I gotta tell you, I'm really happy we're done with those switchbacks. <laughs> yeah, the switchbacks are killer. Um, see this uh, going up to the horn right here? Uh -huh. Going up this hill? That's pretty steep, but that's the last real, you know, the, the last killer there. I think you're as good, I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Just name a rifle. <laughs> All right, code names from now on, we're filming. that big rectangle rock leaning over. We're going right up through there. Go for it, I'll follow it. AK Mig, truck in the trail. In the summertime when we were kids, we used to come up and we used to hunker underneath that big granite shelf right there. Yeah. Just to get a little bit of shade. It's the only shade on this side. The Microtech, what model is it? This is the Kurhi. Okay. Uh, it's is got it? some, some love to it, as you can see. It's been to Iraq and back and OIF 09. Is it, uh, uh, is it factory Duracoat or is it? Uh, yeah, it's a factory Duracoat. It's D2 steel. Um, nice. Really my, my favorite steel for a utility <laughs> knife. It's got a recurve here, which is not very pronounced. However, it does make sharpening a challenge. Not that you need to sharpen D2 much, but. Not bad at all compared very to my ZT301. It has a great tang on it, so you get a really good purchase on the knife. Really just a, a well-made blade. My only complaint about it would be weight, but that's sort of the nature of the beast when you accept D2. So. Mm -hmm. Really good knife. Nice, bud. Gear check. K-bar. K-bar. So, you didn't go with the uh, other K-bar? Nah. You wanted uh, some blade length, huh? A little, yeah. in case there was some mountain lion action or something? Just in case. You never know. <laughs> I actually took both of them out uh, on a camping trip a while back. Mm -hmm. And uh, for just general purpose, I was actually a little bit more pleased with this one. Oh, really? One. Okay. Um, I like the conventional long yeah. edge on it. Mm -hmm. And just all around a good knife. Um, okay, I'm looking down here at your uh, pocket. Uh, what do I got? Got some uh, action clip there. Uh, let's see. Free knife that I won. Benchmade Onslaught. One of my favorites. I got this one for free, so it's just a Remington over-the-counter knife. Good tool knife. Yeah. Uh, that's your uh, beater at work, right? Yep. And that's uh, your second. That's, that's my Kershaw. It's uh, slightly better. It's a leak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been carrying this, uh, this little guy for five, six years now. Right on. And it's uh, all around great. I'm a multi-tool Leatherman. Check out the cold steel ships to boats. So we when you were on deployment, cold steel ships to boats? Yeah, we figured out that they would, uh, through uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Okay. So we'd get all that deployment money and we were bored. Right on. We'd buy Snickers, Bars, Mountain Dew, and knives. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good little knife. I wore it around my neck for the longest time. It's very low profile. It's pretty light, yeah. So it worked as a neck knife as well? Yeah, it's pretty well. Very good. Especially in a sweatshirt, it's nice. Mm-hmm. You guys are going to love this. Catch your breath a little bit. That's 
Might have, have to take your pack off. It's a squeeze. Not really a squeeze, but. Oh, a little bit though. <laughs> Watch your head when you stand up, especially on the left side. Wow. See if we can fit the uh, Grizzly 3000 pack through here. What do you think? Pretty cool? Very good. 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 Very Shot placement. Yep. Back in the old days when you used to come up here, there used to be a log book up here. And uh, it was stuck in this rock. And uh, you would uh, you'd sign the time and the date that you were here. And you'd, you know, look back. I guess uh, somewhere years ago it disappeared, but that was the tradition. Like a geocaching spot. Right. So, um, throw one in there and we're going to go, We're going to go down this little hole and it's going to open up into a really neat area. And the thumb. Is going to be staring us right in the face as soon as we exit right out there. Really neat. Giant rocks above my head. I don't particularly enjoy. That's a lie. See the screen, so hopefully this will get me in here. So very cool little tight formation we got back in here. Definitely a, a fun trip. Hide. Yes. <laughs> All right. I feel like a rock star. I'm getting flashed over here. <laughs> All right. Come on up, you guys. And if you want to just go down right here. So I think for some of my buddies in the flashback. Would they? A little Afghanistan uh, flashback. That's Thomas Tom. It worked better than I thought it would. Trust me. <laughs> All right, there's some teamwork. I learned that a long time ago. Just do what he said. Oh. Good game. Good game. Good job. Breakable in there? Nothing on that one. Just binoculars. <laughs> Just glass and such. Just my label. You got it, bud. Dude, you're so you're so long. You could stand right there and prop yourself up. All right, nice. All right, we'll head right down here. Watch your head. Watch your head on that rock. Nice jump. Watch your head on that rock. Runway. 